The publicist for Robin Williams said the actor had been treated for severe depression. And while we don't know all the details, we do know this, he's not alone. You know, for many people, medication or cognitive behavioral therapy can be effective treatments, but for a sizable group, there is nothing that seems to work. So it's very exciting to learn about a potentially new approach. I'm gonna show you what I'm talking about. This, it's a device like this. It's implanted like a pacemaker just underneath your collarbone, and these two wires are inserted directly into the brain. And then on the outside, a doctor can literally flip a switch, turning it on. It's pretty radical stuff, but in some cases, the results can be astonishing. For as long as Edie Guyton can remember, she could not get the sad thoughts out of her head. I mean, my mother used to say to me, smile, Edie, why don't you smile? And I would, you know, give a something like that maybe, or just think, what is there to smile about? At 19, the first of three suicide attempts for reasons that are inexplicable to me, even now. Got up and started playing with a razor, and... You cut your wrists. Mm -hmm. You cut both your wrists? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Over the next 40 years, she tried counseling, psychiatric drugs, and electroconvulsive shock therapy, but nothing worked. The despair, I think, is what is the most powerful um, push toward suicide because there feels like there is no hope. But if you could look inside Edie Guyton's head today, this is what you'd see. Two electrodes, the thickness of angel hair pasta, powered by a battery pack under her collarbone. I don't think about it, but I have electrodes in my brain. <laughs> It's an experimental use of deep brain stimulation. So what are we looking at here? Pioneered by neurologist, Dr. Helen Mayberg. The, the X is where we're stimulating. The target is called Area 25, a junction box for the brain circuits that control our moods. Here at Emory, where I'm on staff, my colleagues have been using deep brain stimulation for more than 15 years to treat movement disorders, such as Parkinson's disease. In that case, they're targeting the brain's motor system. But Dr. Mayberg wanted to use DBS to target Area 25 for patients with severe depression. It was a procedure, just like this, done on Edie Guyton. In surgery, patients are lightly sedated as a neurosurgeon drills two holes. With an instrument to guide him, he then inserts the electrodes. Are we, is the contact on? Contact's on. As a benchmark, the doctors asked Edie to rate her feelings on a scale of 1 to 10, starting with dread. What? My sense of dread is getting worse. Your sense of dread is getting worse. Rate it. Okay. Two minutes later, they turned on one of the four contacts. How does it feel right now? Is it still high? What's the dread right now? A drop from eight to three, but doctors would soon get an even better result. We're going to make some changes. Up until this time, Edie could not connect emotionally, not even with her baby grandniece, Susan. And somebody handed her to me, and I held her, but I was going through the motions, and I felt really nothing. 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 Cycle that changed four. in the operating Box room. On, stim on. When they tried contact number two. Just let me know if anything changes. Just give a shout. Okay. Um, I just almost smiled. You just almost smiled? <laughs> yeah. Look, describe that for us, would you please? I didn't smile. I haven't smiled I feel like in a long time. Or if I have. Right there in the middle of brain surgery, I felt us? feelings that I thought were gone. When you say you almost smiled, would you, would, did something strike you as funny, or is it just sort of spontaneous? It was, well, I it actually yeah, I was thinking of playing with um, Susan. I started thinking about Susan, little Susan, and I thought I was holding her with her face to me. What was that like, just to think that a, a machine uh, and electricity could transform your emotions like that. It felt fantastic. I didn't care what was doing it. 
<laughs> it just felt great. Now, Edie's transformation, as you saw there, is pretty dramatic, and she is still doing well six years now after having put that device in. More than two dozen patients have also been treated at Emory. That happens to be the hospital where I work as well. And most of them are at least somewhat better. That's according to Dr. Mayberg. There was a larger multi-center trial that a lot of people were watching to see if it would show that same success. But that trial was stopped early in January and no results yet have been made public. This sort of treatment's pretty fascinating and it's enticing, but keep in mind, we still don't know which patients are gonna be the most likely to benefit.